What's up, Wise Flyers? David here. We're going to talk about the best credit card sign-up offers from March 2020. Some really good offers this month. I'm excited to share with you. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to lump in all of the Amex Delta cards together. So we'll start with the Amex Delta Gold card first and work our way up to the six-figure sign-up offer. So First, with the Amex Delta Gold card, it's advertised as a 70,000 mile sign-up offer, but in reality, it's really a 60,000 mile sign-up offer. So you're gonna get 60,000 Delta Sky Miles after spending $2,000 in three months, $99 annual fee waived the first year. After you pay that $99 and keeping the card the second year, then you get that additional 10,000 Delta Sky Miles. So essentially, it's 60,000 an extra 10,000 incentive to keep the card. And probably one of the best ongoing features of this card is that you're gonna get free check bags, first person, one way per person per way is gonna be $30. So if you're traveling with someone and you're gonna do a round trip, that's $120 in baggage fees saved right there just for having this card. With the Amex Delta Gold card, as well as the other Amex Delta cards I'm about to mention, these offers are good until April 1st, 2020. Then these elevated sign up offers are gonna go down. Also, each of these cards have their own identical business version, which are offering pretty much the same sign up offer. So I'm not gonna go over the business version. And if you wanted to apply for any of the cards mentioned in this video, you could use the refer links down in the description below and it really helps out our channel. Next is the Amex Delta Platinum card. So similar to the gold card, it's advertised as a higher signup offer than what it really is. So you get 100,000 miles it's saying, but really you're getting 80,000 miles after spending $3,000 in three months. The annual fee is $250. So after that first year, you're gonna have to pay $250 in order to get that additional 20,000 miles that they're offering. And probably one of the best features of this card is the companion certificate, but it's only for domestic flights round trip. And unfortunately, Hawaii and Alaska aren't included. You could only stay within the 48 states, but if you originate within Alaska or Hawaii, then you could go wherever you want. And next up is the top dog of the Amex Delta card. So it's gonna be the Amex Delta Reserve card. So this purple card comes with a $550 annual fee and also another sneaky publicly advertised 100,000 mile signup offer, which is really 80,000. And then you're gonna get that additional 20,000, just like the Platinum card. But if you're going for Delta Elite status, then this card could definitely help you out because with the signup offer, you're gonna get 20,000 MQMs, also known as medallion qualifying miles. If you're not going for status, then that won't really help you out too much. Some of the other benefits with this card, similar to the Platinum card, you're gonna get that companion certificate, but with the reserve card, you could get a premium class seat. So you could get first class as a companion certificate. You're gonna get that global entry TSA pre-check. Probably one of the best features is you're gonna get access to the Delta Sky Club. So unlimited access for you, for the card holder, but you're only gonna get two guest passes for anyone you want to come with you, which is kind of disappointing because a lot of other cards just allow you to take whoever you want in the lounge, like if it's uh, immediate family or whatever. So if you're liking this video so far and you want to learn more about credit cards and travel points so you could travel anywhere almost free, start now by subscribing so you can get more videos just like this. Moving on, next in the list is probably one of my favorite hotel credit cards that I don't have that I wish I could get. It's going to be the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card. You get a 100,000 point sign up offer after spending spending $5,000 in three months, annual fee of $450, which may seem high, but you're gonna get a ton of value with this card, some credits. I'll go over that briefly right now. So I'm gonna give you four ways of how to get well over $700 in value from this card, not just from year one, but year two, year three, year four, there's a lot of value in this card. First way is a $300 Marriott statement credit you get. So you go to Marriott Hotel, spend $300 on this card, you get it credited to your account, which essentially turns the $450 annual fee to an effective annual fee of $150. Next is gonna be the anniversary award night that you get every single year that you have the card open. So this could be at Marriott hotels valued at 50,000 points or less per night. You could easily get a $300 a night hotel for only 50,000 points. Next is gonna be a $100 property credit at Ritz Carlton or St. Regis hotels. So this is kind of gray in terms of positive value just because you have to spend money in order to get that $100 
credit. There's pretty much no St. Regis or Ritz Carlton hotel that's gonna be $100 or less per night. And the last way to get a ton of value is the priority pass select membership that you get. So anytime you go to a airport, you get priority pass lounge access. That's in 1,200 plus airports at the time of making this video. And you're allowed to bring in two free guests with this priority select membership. Next card is the Chase United Mileage Plus Explore card offering a 60,000 mile sign up offer after spending $3,000 three months, $95 annual fee waived the first year. This offer is good until April 2nd, 2020. Some of the benefits with this card, global entry TSA pre-check, you get two United Club lounge passes. So anytime you're flying United, you get to go get free food, free drinks and United Club lounge. You get a first check bag free, which could be valued at $30 per person per way for up to two people, priority boarding. I think this is a great offer because probably gonna go back down to 40,000 miles after the limited time offer is done. There's a business version of this card, which is offering a 100,000 mile sign up, but you have to spend $10,000 in the first three months. So for the personal version, I think it's great. Of course, year one, no annual fee. You get to use all the benefits. Year two, year three, year four, I think you're gonna get the most value from the United Club Plus lounges. And also if you're gonna fly and check your bags for free, just with two people, that's $120 saved per person per way round trip. And just to give you an idea of what United Miles are worth, if you wanted to go to Europe, that's 60,000 miles round trip right there, give or take. Or if you wanted to go to South America, like Lima, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, it's only 20,000 miles per way. And there's actually a new United card right before I was about to publish this video. The Chase United Infinite card just came out. It's offering a 100,000 mile sign up offer after spending $5,000 in three months with a $525 annual fee ton of benefits with this card. I'm not going to mention in this video, but I'll do it in a future video. Now with this next card, although it has a lower sign up offer than most of the cards on this list, it does offer a lot of value, more than usual. It's the Bank of America Alaska Airlines card. You're going to get 40,000 miles after spending $2,000 in 90 days. And you also get a hundred dollar statement credit plus an Alaskan Airlines companion fare. Annual fee is $75. So with that hundred dollar statement credit plus the companion fare, you're getting a lot of value here year one. Now I'm going to give you a couple examples of how you could use 40,000 miles in a bit because it may seem a little low compared to the six figure sign up offers I was just talking about. So let's talk about the companion fare for a second. So you're going to be able to take whoever you want with you and you only have to pay $99 plus the taxes and fees, which is gonna come out to $121, usually $22 in taxes and fees. So for example, let's say it's $500 a ticket. You have two people, that's $1,000 that you would be paying, but with the companion fare, you're only gonna have to pay $621 instead of the full thousand. So that's $379 in savings just by using the companion fare. So obviously this card makes sense year one. What about year two, year three, year four? So you're gonna get free check bags. It's $30 per person per way for up to six people. So if you fly Alaskan, then that makes sense to keep. So if you don't really see yourself using Alaskan Airlines long term, then this card may not be worth keeping. But let me give you a few examples of how you could get value out of those 40,000 Alaskan miles. They're actually a lot more valuable than you would think. It's not just to go to Alaska. So if you wanted to go to Australia, a one way to Australia on Cathay Pacific would be 40,000 miles. A round trip to Peru would be 40,000 miles and you would fly on American Airlines. A one way to Thailand in premium economy on Cathay Pacific would be 35,000 miles. And if you wanted to go for more premium class seats, there's actually some pretty good deals with Alaskan Airlines. The only problem is it's really hard to earn Alaskan Airline miles. So with this card, you're only gonna get three miles per dollar spent uh, just with Alaskan Airlines, one mile per dollar spent everywhere else. So just by you doing your everyday spending or just on Alaskan Airline miles, it's really hard to accumulate these miles. And if you want to watch more credit card review videos just like this, you could click this link over here or this link down here and I'll see you in the next video.